Hey Siri, how not to miss any future Tech Labs video? Just go ahead and click on the bell button to be notified. Enjoy. What's up guys, Stick up Shroom and welcome back to a new jailbreak update video where I'm talking about jailbreaks and all that stuff that happened last week and this week in terms of jailbreaking. Guys, this is the episode number 3. We have so many new information about the current 10.3.1 jailbreak that we're all waiting for. Also some new information about 32-bit jailbreak for 32-bit devices by Fried Apple team. And also guys, the new type of malware that is available for the iPhone and you may actually catch it if you won't be that cautious. So I really want you guys to know about it. So yeah, without any further do, do let's go ahead and get started okay guys so first of all i wanted to start off from some ios 10.3.1 jailbreak information and talk about the mosa conference that will happen this summer on 23rd of june and this conference guys is all about mobile security which indeed means it's about jailbreaking yeah because it's mobile security so this conference has been organized already two times in 2015 and 16 by the pangu team which actually demonstrated the full ios 10.3.1 jailbreak on the iphone 7 and and POC organization. And most importantly guys, let's take a look who will be presenting the whole their security stuff and uh, their speech. So if we take a look at this one, at this part of the page, as you can see there is the guy who is going to be talking about pwning the Apple Watch, meaning doing kind of a jailbreak for the Apple Watch. Now revisiting the kernel security enhancements in the iOS 10, that also is related to the iOS 10 jailbreak. And most importantly, we have the Luca Tedesco who will be present on this conference, that's absolutely amazing. And he has actually confirmed it in his Twitter. So he says, meet you in Shanghai, in China. And if we take a look at the conference where it's going to take place, it's going to be in the Shanghai, China, like it says in here. So the look at the desk will also be present in here. And do remember that he is actually a developer of the real iOS 10 jailbreak. So guys, what could possibly mean to us and to iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak? Guys, if we take a look at our previous experience and previous Mosa conference, you will see that the the previous MOSAI conference of 2016 took place one uh, one month before the, the real iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak was released. So this year we might expect the same kind of thing happening again. So right after the MOSAI of 2017 conference, we will probably see the new jailbreak of iOS 10.3.1 coming. So guys, once again, the real jailbreak, I don't really know when it's going to be released, but my personal prediction says that the real jailbreak of iOS 10.3.1 will probably be released in July this year, so right two months after today's date. Now additionally guys, we have two other theories and don't get too upset on this jailbreak release date, so one of them says that the jailbreak will be released after the iOS 10.3.2 will be dropped, uh, that is because the iOS 10.3.2 may actually fix some of the bugs found in iOS 10.3.1 and the jailbreak will not be actually functional on that framework so the actual release date will be in a week or two so don't get too upset guys that may actually happen and now the second theory says that the, this jailbreak will be released right after the release date of the iOS 11 so uh, the Pangu team might actually have some vulnerabilities packed into this jailbreak and they will not be fixed in the iOS 11 so they may actually wait until Apple will release the iOS 11 and this might actually happen in in one month's time. Either way guys, if you want to be the first one to actually see the full jailbreak tutorial, I'm going to make it on my channel once it's going to be released, so make sure you stay tuned for more videos, of course subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon on here so you won't miss that notification. Now the next piece of information guys comes from Fried Apple team and their 32 and 64 bit jailbreak of iOS 9, all versions included. Now they have been developing these jailbreaks for already like a half a year and we had so many expectations from them and finally guys they actually published something uh, pretty legit and something that can actually give us a little hint on when this jailbreak can actually be released. So they have actually published a new video talking about the jailbreak internals of iOS 8, 9 and 10. They have a new video on their Twitter account so probably the new jailbreak of uh, the iOS 9 all versions like the all iOS 9s from the iOS 9 to 9.3.5 uh, 9 of the 64 and 32 bit devices will be released in like let's say one month so they are pretty close to the 
the final release and we're st still waiting for them. So you guys, I'm monitoring their page all the time and if you have been lucky and stayed on the iOS 9, you are pretty lucky with this jailbreak because they're actually gonna be releasing one, so stay tuned for that. And finally guys, the last piece of information that I have for today is all about malware and viruses for your iOS device. And yeah, you really get that right because we now finally can see a new virus that is hugely spread all across like the world and you can actually be targeted and have this virus on your phone already. So it all started with the guy who was actually jailbroken on his iPhone and somebody who created the virus. It, the actual virus was created for the Sony company and it was, was intended to be on his phone to actually attack the Sony company. So his carrier called him and told him that uh, you are having a kind of a virus on your network and they found out that this kind of virus on, was on his phone and my brother is calling me. So what I mean guys is that you need to be cautious when installing something on your jailbroken phone. It's still it's still kind of similar to the non-jailbroken phone, but as you know, the jailbroken phones do not have that kind of security measures as non-jailbroken ones. So if you don't want to have a virus on his phone, make sure you stay on the latest firmware possible. So for now, this is the beta of iOS 10.3.2. But if you guys are already jailbroken and you don't want to lose it on your phone, you need to actually remove uh, all of these piracy repos from your phone because they may actually contain malware. All of these, uh, you know, big boss repo and other repos that are on the default on the Syria, they're pretty legit because they have been checked for the malware for the viruses uh, by some kind of system or people, so they're pretty legit. But if you're using some kind of third-party repos, you may get infected. Now, recently also picked up the new application called Sys Security Info. This is about system and security. This one works best on non-jailbroken phones like I have in here, the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, if you jump into here and go into uh, into here, into the jailbreak tab, you're gonna see that all of these green things means that it's all okay. So, for example, we have um, a boot ar arguments as MFI is not sad, that's okay, but if you go down, as you can see, something with my Mac security is not okay on this device. This is pretty nice, this is like everything is okay right now, but uh, there's one little thing you need to uh, make sure is set to green if you have a non-jailbroken device, and this is the root and write permissions. So right in here, a uh, root FS mounted read only, if you have it set to green, that's okay, make sure you have a non-jailbroken device without a jailbreak. Now, only jailbroken phone you're gonna set it to red this is a completely different story but if you're checking this on the non jailbroken phone uh, that means and if you have a red light in here that means it's pretty bad and you may actually have a real malware on your phone so if you want to download this application you're gonna go into the website it's called apps for impactor.com I'm gonna have it in the description and side load it using the Syria impactor it's so easy but yeah guys that's everything that we know in terms of jailbreaking for today if you like this video make sure you drop a huge fatty fat like on this video that would be so so much appreciated and as always guys stay tuned for more videos and peace out